It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi right, guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yesterday's video went over so well on Bill Irwin. Um uh, and people was asking for more of that type of thing. So I'm going to be on another one. Uh, this Andy Griffith show actress, which you see back here, uh, appeared on television just one time. Ellie saves a female, an episode of the Andy Griffith show from the late in the first season. Seems like a run of the mill sitcom installment of the early 60s. Barney has a run in with some cute baby pigs. And he gets spritzed with perfume called Midnight Madness. Uh, the more interesting storylines were perhaps happening behind the scenes. The episode offered up a college reunion, a farewell of sorts, and a very rare sighting. R.G. Armstrong, a relative newcomer with credits on several westerns like Maverick, The Rifleman, and Have Gun Will Travel under his belt, played Farmer Flint. Character actor had close ties to Andy himself. Armstrong attended the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, where he honed his thespian skills as a member of the Carol uh, Carolina Playmakers. Fellow Tar Heel alum, Griffith was a member of the very same theater ensemble. The two chums had a chance to work together on the boob tube. Meanwhile, Ellie Saves a Female would be a swan song of sorts for, the, uh, for Ellie. Uh, Eleanor Donahue, who played Sheriff Andy's love interest that first season, would appear in only one more episode, the guitar player returns. She pops up in just a couple of scenes, Fittingly, her final line is bye-bye. So Ellie saves a female, offers Ellie her last turn in the spotlight. That brings us to the rare sighting. Farmer Flint has a daughter, the female of the title, one Frankie Flint. Ellie gives a farm girl a makeover. Edris March is delightful in the role. She makes it all the more strange that March never appeared on television again. This is the only credit to her name. Whatever happened to her? Chance encounter with an Andy fan in 2001 gives us an answer. Uh, this fan happened to be wandering the California Mart, a fashion merchandise market in downtown L.A. when they came uh, on, on uh, Edris March. You see, March had a small business in the building. She co-owned a women's lingerie line called Fame Time. Uh, the biographic uh, detail is confirmed by a book on the back pain of all things. Uh, 1995 publication, Bad Back, Hoping for Life. Myrna Farnham and Edris March, the owners of Fame Time in L.A., phoned. The author writes, back to the fan. He said, I was able to reunite her with Don Knotts that year at the Hollywood Celebrity Show in North Hollywood <clears throat> and also put her in touch with R.G. Armstrong, well-known character actor that played her father, old man Flint, on the Andy Griffith Show episode. This fan explained in a, in a post authentic, authenticating an autographed photo of March. He also learned that following her extreme brief stint as a television actress, March spent 15 years as a dance instructor for Arthur Murray Dance Studio. And there you go. I think it's just still kind of weird to me why she would quit acting. She did such a wonderful job. And, and uh, I mean, I would think that she would uh, uh, attract you know, more guest spots at least. Uh, it's just kind of strange. I guess maybe Hollywood just wasn't for her, which is possible too. Lord knows I couldn't do it. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts or trivia. It happens to be on Andy Griffith, uh, Ron Howard, and Don Knotts. Check that out. Please subscribe. Um, classic rock and country music facts and trivia is on the rock band Kiss and Eddie Van Halen. You want to check that out as well. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and please like this video. Thank you very much. Um, have a great day, guys. God bless. Praying for you.